A while loop has the following format. You have the keyword while, then parentheses, same as, it, as in the if statement. The big difference is that the while loop keeps running until the statement in the parentheses is no longer true. Thus, create a variable, integer x equal to 1, while x is less than 1, that's going to keep on running. And as it runs, it'll keep on doing something in here. It's important that inside your curly brackets for the while loop, you make sure you have a way to finally change what's in the parentheses to false. Uh, in this example here, we need to change x to be greater than 5, or actually equal to 5 or greater than. Um, until then, this while loop will continue to run. Urinary operators require only one operand to perform different kinds of operations such as increasing and decreasing a value. So this means for you that one variable or one value is being manipulated. And uh, I'll give you a, I'll show you an example here in the, in the browser window. So right here you notice that you have the plus plus to increment. And what that looks like is you have a, a variable and you just I'll put the plus plus sign after it on one line, and then that variable is now equal to 2. It increments by 1. Um, similarly, you have the two minus signs next to each other is a decrement. So if you start out equal to 1, and you have a line that has the minus minus signs next to it, now that value is equal to 0. And I had already showed you the um, logical not. Basically, it inverts a Boolean. And it reads as not, not equal to. So those are the three unary operators that you will have to know. So for our example, we're going to use the increment unary operator to get out of this while loop. So we'll notice here I added a little system out just so we can see what's going on, make sure it's working right. I have my increment, x++, plus plus, and then a system out that says we're out of the while. So let me compile that. Let's give it a run. And you see there, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're out of the while loop when it's equal to 5. Because the while loop is only in existence while x was less than 5. So as soon as it was equal to it, we got out of it. Pretty easy, not rocket science here, and we're going to use this in class to do a couple things.